Hi guys and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're shooting my Bagara B13 uh, 300 AAC Blackout. A break barrel rifle, just proving that the gun's empty there. Beautiful compact rifle, 16 inch barrel, uh, lovely uh, quality. It's got a wildcat moderator on a 30 cal and at the front end we've got Spartan Pro Hunt with the uh, mini legs on. Uh, and those legs are interchangeable. Today we're going to put a Hick Thunder rifle scope on there, that's a thermal rifle scope. Nice compact unit, it's well built, it's got a lovely little flip cover there and a 35mm front lens. And guess what, it comes with a rail, spring loaded, well made rail, so you don't have to buy an extra rail. So an actual uh, night vision unit that you don't have to go and buy an extra rail for. Got the ocular uh, focus there, nice simple menu board on top, uh, the on off switch. Uh, yeah, it's made of metal and aluminium, uh, you've got a USB port there which is a C type adapter uh, and right next to the USB port you've got a thumb screw, you undo the thumb screw and that opens up a uh, very easily accessible battery compartment, it takes two CR123s. The ones that actually come with the unit aren't rechargeable but I suggest you get a couple of rechargeables. We've had this unit for a couple of weeks now in the shop and we've been using it to show people and we haven't had to change the batteries. Uh, it's lasted all this time and as you'll see from the video later on that the uh, the actual batteries are still pretty full. So yeah, I'm going to pop that onto uh, the rail. It's a Picatinny rail, it's a Britannia rail from uh, Country Sports Wholesale. That's my Vortex uh, torque wrench uh, with a 13mm socket on it, just pinching it up. I've taken off another scope you can see in the foreground that's got a Starlight Archer back piece on. I use Starlight Archer for 95% of all my shooting. Um, generation 3 and I absolutely love it a bit. So what I'm going to do here is pop on my glasses and set the torque up to 40 uh, inch pounds. So that's the correct torque settings for the mount. So I'm just going to pinch that up now. Um, they are rated the units uh, beyond 30 or 6 because you do use them for driven bore over in the continent. Uh, so that's all torqued up we're ready to go. What I would like to do is just put the rifle up. Um, it, it's a compact unit, it does sit fairly far back but I'm going to put it up and see how it looks. The downside to it for me is I'm not a fan of rubber eye cups, I'd probably take the rubber eye cup off but that's just my personal opinion and if I was a little bit critical I'd probably say that just needs to come back another inch or so but other than that great. So we're out on the range and how do you zero a thermal? Well you use a hot hand hand warmer. Uh, try not ooh, stab me myself in the, the, the foot with the uh, hero zero hero from Devana Hunting. I use a heat pad ones that you normally keep your hands warm with, uh, give it a shake, activate it, and I'm going to staple that onto my target board. So yeah, I thought, how do we get some heat down there? I haven't got a blowtorch or anything, so I thought this would be the best way. So I'm going to staple that into the middle of my target board. You need to turn that stapler around, Paul, otherwise, there you go. Uh, yeah, let's see if this will give off enough heat so we can see it. So um, yeah, it's quite simple to do. Uh, just staple that onto the middle of it. Uh, with a brake barrel rifle, it's very difficult to bore sight it, so I'm going to aim for the middle of that, and if I get it in that A4 piece of paper, I'll be happy. So I'm going to put this out at 25 yards and see how we get on. It's uh, it's a bitterly cold day again, as you can probably tell, and it's windy. Look at that grass blowing. I know this is speeding up a little bit. I'll speed it up because I didn't want to bore you to death. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm out there. I'm just getting the bags all set up. Uh, once you get into the, the menu, the navigation, it's quite simple. Uh, it's an XY um, axis and for those of you who are familiar with an XY axis dead easy to use for those of you who aren't uh, the way I remember XY axis is X is across and Y go up or Y go down so that's how I remember it it's dead easy to do and within about I don't know four or five shots I got it pretty much where I wanted it so um, yeah the thing I, I'll say about it is I was impressed with the quality. Um, again, it's it, it's a very nice image. What you do lose when you come in to do these videos is when you download the images that we've taken when we're shooting it um, to put it onto the video is you do lose a little bit of the quality of the image. So it does look a little bit more pixelated than it actually does through the eyepiece. The other thing that you've got to notice is when we put in the video up in a moment of the actual shooting is that the picture in picture doesn't have a crosshair. The crosshair is there when you're doing picture in picture. So you have got the crosshair. It's the crosshair in the main picture and a crosshair in the picture in picture. You've got a choice of reticles. You've got red, green or white. Uh, I think there's black as well. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to double check that. But yeah, 
very, very simple to use, very easy to navigate. Um, I, I liked it a lot, um, to be honest with you. It's one of the most simple night vision units I've actually zeroed and set up. Going back in the old days, they all you needed a degree in astrophysics to set them up, but this is quite simple. Um, so I'll put the target out at 75 yards, and you'll see a, a few clips in a minute of me shooting out there, uh, trying to get it on. Um, but yeah, I was really, really impressed with it. Um, not as impressed as I am with the rifle. I love the Bagara. It's, it's just a stunning little rifle. It's such a useful tool to have in your armoury if you're out doing urban foxing. Um, and this has counted for a, quite a few uh, of my count. But yeah, so just double checking and making sure that we're on, on where we need to be. And uh, another final shot and that was it. We are all set up. So you're going to see some footage now of uh, the actual shooting and the image quality. But please remember, we're not looking at images, we're looking at heat signature. And you have to remember that, that when you're looking through thermal, it's not an image, it's a heat signature. So there's not, there we go. There's the target, there's the heat pad in the middle of the target. You see how that stands out. You see my GoPro on the left with the tripod as well. You can also see the dots, it's a brake barrel. There, oh, we've just gone straight out to 75 yards. Uh, you'll see the dirt kicks up in it. There we go. You can see the top right hand corner of that left hand piece of paper is where the bullet struck. Uh, that to me just shows you that it is sensitive enough to actually pick up the heat that when it's passed through the actual uh, board. So yeah, I'm just zooming in now. You can see it does get a little bit pixelated, but trust me, just gone onto fusion there and the red hot, then we'll go back onto the, the white hot. Uh, the image is a lot sharper through the actual eyepiece. But yeah, that's 75 yards. You can clearly see that's a target board. And you can see those inch circles. At, you can see where that bullet struck there at around about eight o'clock. Uh, and there we go. I'm starting to get it somewhere near now. So it's 75 yards. Um, I'm shooting top left hand corner and I do a, it's about an inch and a quarter group, which to be honest with thermal um, is okay. I, I'm quite happy with that. So I'll be shooting this out to about a hundred yards with a blackout. So yeah, within an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, I'd be, I'd be quite happy to shoot that at um, any prey. So what I did notice with the dots, I thought, oh, I wonder. So I put a reactive target in the middle and I took a five shot group. And there's the third shot just going in. I missed the first two shots. There's a fourth shot. Um, and I'm, I missed the first couple of shots with the camera because I forgot to switch it on, but there we go. Uh, and as you can see, group's great. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'm going to put more details on later on, but please click and subscribe. Much appreciated. Take care.